Bulls fans, welcome back to Carter's Closet. I'm Carter, and this is Season 5 of the BMO Artist Hat Series. Shout out to the Chicago Bulls for hooking it up with the best promo in the game. Let's check them out. First thing I noticed is this packaging is insane. So many little details. First, looks like an old school locker. Locker number 1966 for when my Chicago Bulls first started. Rocking that Chicago Bulls red all around it. And on the back, every artist we're gonna talk about today. Let's crack this thing open. First up, we got a hat from Philadelphia artist, Chuck Styles. Chuck was born in a suburb just outside of West Philadelphia. In West Philadelphia. And despite all of his challenges, he's a self-taught artist who uses his art to elevate and highlight black voices. Chuck has worked with a ton of companies, NASCAR, HBO, Topps, ESPN, Warner Brothers, and so many others. And while he might have started out as a barber, he is killing it as an artist. For his design, he's got the bull on the front, red brim, red snapback, and the bull spelled out, just like the jerseys back in 1966. And check out more of Chuck Styles on Instagram, at Chuck Styles with two S's at the end. Our next tie was designed by Chicago artist Abel Archaniga. Abel is a designer, illustrator, and full-time working photographer in Chicago. His love for art started at a very young age when he fell in love with graffiti. He graduated from Columbia College right here in Chicago. He's worked as a graphic designer and a production art manager before starting his own photo studio. Let's check it out. You can see his love for Mayan and Aztec culture throughout the hat. Los Toros on the side and his version of the Chicago Stars on the back. Learn more about Abel on the web at tequilagraphics.com or check him out on social at tequilagraphics. I love this next hat from Antonio Ainsco. You can see Antonio's love for illustration on the front and side and this ridiculous mural under the brim. Respect on the back to all six championships for the 90s Chicago Bulls. As a student at Eastern Illinois, Antonio was born and raised in Chicago Heights, Illinois. Shout out to the suburbs. Some of Antonio's influences include things like Nickelodeon's Blues Clues and the Garbage Pail Kids trading card. While he originally wanted to work in animation, he switched his focus to painting. Since then, he's had work shown in Chicago, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Los Angeles. And in the summer of 2022, he did a mural for Soho House in Chicago. You can check him out on social at AJ Ainsco. This next hat is from Chicago-based illustrator Katie Lukes. In addition to being an illustrator, Katie also does murals and has a background in graphic design. Katie's work celebrates joy in the everyday and draws back attention to the little things that could use another look. She's worked with some major brands, including Uber, American Greetings, and Patagonia. Katie's hat came out on Pride Night, and it's definitely something to be proud of. You can find Katie on the web at katielukes.com or check out our social at Luke's Katie. This next hat, it's speaking to me. Chicago-based artist Blake Jones absolutely killed this design. Blake uses graphic line work and bright colors to tell a story of complex world with his own iconic characters, objects, and landscape. Blake's work has been in multiple forms, such as print, paintings, galleries, sculptures, and murals. You can tell this is a Blake Jones hat. All the bright colors on the front. Signature character under the brim. Got the ball's life on the side. What up, Flight Fam? LAC, I see you. And keeping those bright colors on the back. Find Blake Jones on the web at blakejones.co or on the gram at Blake underscore Jones. Ending off with a huge banger. We have a hat from graffiti artist Miss Merlot, and it is straight fire. This hat's simplistic design showcases her balance between new creatives and traditional styles that have proven to be a timeless foundation. You got that dark charcoal hat, bold red B, silver accents throughout, and the greatest city in the world on the back. On the brim underneath, you really see Miss Merlot's traditional style. As an established creative director, Merlot's vision brings a mindful attention to detail and an unmatched sight at a perfected end result. Miss Merlot is known for painting all across the US, as well as Canada, Mexico, the UK, Europe, Asia, and Israel. And if you want to see more of her work, check her out on social at Merloism. That's it for this episode of Carter's Closet. Beep, beep. Drop home safe, Chicago. A huge thank you to the Chicago Bulls marketing team for hooking me up with these amazing hats. All of these artists absolutely killed the design. And as fun as it is going to the Bulls game, these hats make it that much better. Let me know which design you like best in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time on Carter's Closet and go Bulls!